Hello everyone, welcome. In today's video, we are going to talk about the WCH offline MCU flash. The chip it can support currently are CH54, CH55, CH56, CH57, and so on. The WCH MCU DL provides three download modes, which are USB, serial ports, and SWD. In this three download mode, USB and serial port fit all types of chips, while the SWD mode is only suitable for CH32F or CH32V series. Here are the core functions of this MCU. These functions are provided to allow for better interactivity and more customizations of your offline programming solutions. Here are some guidelines you need to take into consideration regarding the WCH MCU DL board design. These are the first step process of how we flash and program the offline MCU flash tool. Each step will be properly demonstrated in the upcoming videos. We will explain each step and how to best integrate it into your development cycle. In these three methods, USB is the default and the recommended because it is significantly faster than serial transmission. Also transfers via USB are significantly faster. It is for that reason we recommend going with a USB-based option first. You can choose any of the two USB programming interface options shown here, depending on your setup. Either choosing the USB connector-based output or connecting your own personal connections by linking the D+, D-, and GND, and three V3 connection points. The serial port download is also shown here and can be connected via normal serial connections and links. After the connection between the G4 pin on the WCH MCU DL development board and the target SWD interface is completed, press the S3 button to download the CH32F or CH32V series offline. This SWD programming method is only for CH32FV series chips, not for other chips. CH32 has read protection, power off and power up operation. Therefore, it must be controlled by the G4 power supply of the offline recorder. The output voltage of the recorder corresponds to the demand for power supply of the target board. Open connecting the WCH offline flash tool. The next step is to begin preparing the preloading stage. Firstly, we connect the offline MCU flash tool via USB Type-C as shown here. And then we are going to use two software for this procedure. The first one is MCU UPD tool and DI pop tool. The DI pop tool, this software will be mainly used for creating the data key files necessary for preloading into the offline MCU. To do this, we first select the chip type alongside the different MCUs which we are going to flash and then. Then we make the customer configurations we need and after finishing that, we then are ready for uploading. MCU PD tool. We then use the MCU PD tool to upload the bin and hex files onto the WCH MCU offline flash tool. So the main thing we do here is select the data key files and upon selecting this file, if we see a UUID bin given, that means we are now ready for flashing. If not, you can press the search button to allow the program to search the specific data key file you would like to download. Once the programming process is complete, we can then now remove the USB cable and connect to a power cable instead. When the power cable is connected, this then allows us to power on the MCU offline flash. Select the respective hex file and flash it onto the board. Thank you. If you have any questions about the WCH MCU DL, please comment down below or send us a private message. We will answer you as soon as possible. Goodbye.